Hey guys, Google has finally released its Google Gboard on Android. Now, if you follow technology, you follow Google or Apple, you would know that Google released their Google Gboard on iOS months ago. Now, Gboard has made its way finally to Android. Uh, now, I don't know the reason why they delayed it on Android, but anyways, it's here and so let's go ahead and take a look at it i've got google gboard installed in my device right now let's go through the initial setup and take a look at google gboard so let's go and enable it in the settings and there it is let's enable it and select input method select english uk there we go done now we're in the settings of gboard let's go in the preferences so in preferences we have customized input styles number rows yes i would like to have number rows show emoji switch key yes voice input key yes show emojis in symbols keyboards yes one handed mode is off keyboard height okay like to increase it a bit there we go and then we have sound on key press no vibrate on key press no let's turn it off pop up on key press yes i like that long press for symbols definitely i'd like to have that and i'd like to delay the long press to around 150 milliseconds there we go so that was preferences let's go ahead and take a look into themes so we've got our default white theme here and this is then we have got some black themes here another white theme red blue green so a lot of themes here you can customize them and then you can toggle this button on to uh, initiate the key borders as well i like the black themes so i'm gonna go with that let's go back and go to text correction now this is important let's go through these settings so show suggestions definitely next word suggestions obviously block offensive words no uh, sometimes you need those as well anyways so suggest contact names of course allow personalized suggestions yes auto correction no auto capitalization yes and double space full stop yes let's go to glide typing so you can actually you know glide on the keyboard to type and you can change few settings here enable glide typing yes just your tail yes just to delete yes and then okay fine and dictionary here you can add your personal dictionary and add on dictionaries sync learn words yes so what it does is that it uh, syncs these words to your google account so whenever you're using google gboard on any android device or even on ios probably you can sync the words or your typing behavior throughout google account and no matter which device you're using it will be synced and then let's go through search so this is the speciality of this keyboard because we have google search built right into the keyboard so go ahead and toggle this button on show g button it's on by default anyways and predictive search as well then let's go in advanced and symbols for physical keyboard yes show app icon yes and share user statistics share snippets yes so there we go and we are done with the settings let's go ahead and take a look at the keyboard now and for that let's go in so there is a notes app and there is the google keyboard now if you see here now you would notice that we have this g button here and this is for google search now this is a normal keyboard but whenever you want to search for any specific term like you're talking to your friend and you are discussing chinese food now we can search for it so let's go in google search and write chinese food and it will give you all the information and there you go now it's showing some uh, search results for some restaurants that actually serve Chinese food. Go ahead and press on any one of them. So for example, I press on Shangri-La Chinese and now it's giving me the maps, directions and everything. And I want to share this to the Notes app and there you go. Now I have the title here, Shangri-La Chinese, Rest Multan and I've got a link here. Now I can go ahead and save it. So this is basically what Google Gboard does. You have Google search baked right into the keyboard and you can use it in any app, whether you're chatting with your friend, WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, no matter where you are, you have search built in. Now the basic purpose of this is to reduce app transitions reduce multitasking that you have to get out of one app and then go into google search and then search for something and then go back to your previous app and then share that search 
It's a long procedure, so Google thought that they would just put Google search right into the keyboard. But anyways, that was Google keyboard, that was Google search built into the keyboard. Now you can turn this off from the settings as I've shown you before. You can do that here and it, it works pretty well. The Google keyboard is fast, you can customize it, you can add a lot of you know themes to it as well. So a very good and powerful keyboard and the best thing about it is that now your word predictions and your dictionaries are synced throughout your Google account so no matter which device you're using, if you're signed in from that account, you will get your predictions and your words and your suggestions there as well. So that's the best thing about it. One thing to notice here is that if we go back from here and we go in Google search, now we turn on the Google keyboard the G button has disappeared because we are in Google search all by itself. So that is just one thing I thought I would share with you. You get these emojis here. You can search for these emojis after a while. You can search for them. For example, let's go ahead and search for thumbs up. And there you go. We have thumbs up. You can write for another emoji love and it will show you all the emojis related to love. So. That was it, that was the Google keyboard. Now go ahead and download it guys, it's a great keyboard. You have the power of Google search now right in the keyboard that you're using. And it's a great keyboard, I've been using it for a few days and it's awesome. And that's about it in this video guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.